Hey guys, so for today I have my July favorites video for you guys and I know everyone says this but like I just really cannot believe it's July. Um, I'm going to stores and I'm seeing back to school stuff which is sickening because August is still summer so I just hate to think of like September fall coming so I'm just trying to enjoy summer as I can. I am going to be doing a July favorites and not a hits and misses. I didn't really have any misses this month um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I've absolutely been loving. I did a first impression on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. I actually have been really 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 loving this this month. I feel like it controls my oils all day but it still gives me a really lightweight feel. It's what I'm wearing on my face right now and I just absolutely have been loving it. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous too. It just feels rich and I, I really really like it. But next I did a first impression on the Maybelline Dream Wonder Liquid Touch Foundation. I've also really been loving this this month. I really like it just because it's super super lightweight and it gives you that medium light kind of coverage for days that you really don't even want to wear that much makeup. So I really like this for that no makeup makeup type of look days and I really like the packaging as well. It does look pretty like with the rose goldy type of coppery feel so I really love those two foundations this month. Now um, the month of July it was my birthday on July 9th so for my birthday my good old sister bought me the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I was so excited because I've been wanting it for so long and it is so so beautiful and I really 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 do enjoy this palette when I first swatched this like the shadows they are a little bit chalky and powdery so I was a little bit worried um, that they weren't gonna be as buttery and nice and blendable but when you put them on a brush and you put them on your lid they blend like a dream so it's kind of weird how when you swatch them they don't really feel buttery but when you put them on your lid like for some reason it really blends out really nicely so they are really 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 great quality shadows you can get this palette at Sephora and I believe it's like $55 or something like that but it is totally worth it you get a good amount of shades in this palette and I feel like you can do a colorful eye as well as a daytime eye, as well as a nighttime eye. So it's a really universal palette as well. So I really, really, really love it. So next is another palette that I picked up this month. And I actually did a uh, review on this as well. So this is the Maybelline The Nudes palette. Now this has been so, like popular and been talked about because it's recently released and um, it's definitely one of the first drugstore pal palettes to come to the drugstore other than NYX so I think it's something that's like really a big deal for the beauty community and um, just everywhere I feel like from now on a lot of drugstore brands are gonna start coming out with palettes because Maybelline really set the mark for them so I really, really, really do love this palette. Um, the shadows could be better quality. They could be more pigmented, but they're really easily blendable. They do have a nice uh, buttery feel. They're not sh super chalky or powdery, and they have a good selection of shades. You got your black. You got your um, matte like crease shades. You got your shimmery lid shades. You got your outer V shades. So they really did a good job in kind of coming up with um, a good amount of shades. And they also have some shimmer shades in here too for those of you who like a little bit of shimmer. It's not only matte. So next, I actually tried out the Maybelline um, Eye Studio Gel Liner and I actually really, really, really do enjoy it. Um, it's not as easy to work with as I thought gel liner would be. I feel like it does require a little bit of practice, but I do like the formula. I like how black it comes out and I really, really like the finish of this. So I actually have been enjoying kind of switching up my liner game and not always doing my L'Oreal and Your liner. So I've been enjoying kind of working with gel liners and kind of shadow liners and um, just something different than the typical liner. The next product that I've been loving is uh, Benefit's Gimme Brow. I also got this for my birthday from my good old cousin and um, I absolutely love this. This was on my birthday wish list, so I was so excited when I got it. I really really love it I have days where I'm going to work and it's like a no makeup makeup day so I just go ahead and put some of this gimme brow um, on and it really helps just give me a little bit of a brow but you know with half the time that it would take for me to do my Anastasia dip brow of course it doesn't give you definition or you can't really shape your brows much but it does give you a little bit of extra volume on the brows that you already do have so I've really been liking this it's super quick just to pull it out and kind of brush it on so I really really have been enjoying it this is in the color medium slash dark so since we're like in the pattern of birthday gifts, I'm going to go ahead and mention that for my birthday, I actually got a gift card from my cousin with the Gimme Brow, so thank you to her. Um, I had 
some money to spend at Sephora. So I went ahead to Sephora and I have been needing, well I wanted the Anastasia contour palette but you know that's sold out so that's like a mission to get. I actually am going to um, America next weekend I believe or the weekend after that. I'm going to Buffalo so I'm going to try and hunt down the Anastasia palette and I'm also going to be doing a ton of makeup shopping so stay tuned for a American makeup haul coming up after that but I've really been looking for a really good um, under eye setting powder that's really brightening. I really find that I have a hard time kind of having a bright under eye just because of my already pale skin. When I use a pale powder it kind of just already blends into my skin so it doesn't really work out. So I figured, like I tried to think in my head, you know, what's another um, under eye setting powder that people say is really brightening. And then I remembered Shan XO always raves about how this one is really brightening and it gives you a really like nice rested lightning brightening effect underneath the eye so I was like what is that product and if you follow me on Twitter you would see how I asked you guys like what's the product that Shan XO uses because I couldn't like I couldn't put my finger on what it was called and then I went on her page searched it up and it was the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder. I picked it up without even thinking. I just crossed my fingers and hoped that it would work for me and it does. I am so super excited that I've actually found a brightening powder that works on my pale skin. This powder, I really, really, really like it. It really does brighten my under eye and it lasts all day. I am wearing it today and I really do feel like it really brightens up my under eye. So now that we're talking about brightening powders, actually after I went to Sephora right after this, I just stopped by Walmart and I actually saw this um, hard candy... I think it's called, um, yeah, Moon Glow. So it's called Hard Candy Moon Glow, and it's in the shade Luminizing. And I was really taken back because I was like, whoa, I've never seen you on the shelves before. I don't know if this is new or not, but I've never seen this on the shelf. It is basically a yellow toned pressed powder that's for your under eye. So I actually really, really enjoy this as well as kind of like a cheaper version of the Bare Minerals. It definitely doesn't brighten as much as the Bare Minerals one does um, and because it's, it's not as pigmented, but it definitely still has that yellow undertone and it does help brighten up the under eye a little bit. Sometimes I actually like to put this one on after this one just to get like a double brightening effect. I really like this just for days where I want to do a little bit more of a subtle highlight underneath the eye. This is my best bet. So another product that I got from um, Sephora, I actually used my points to pick this up and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Medium deep and this is a sample. I absolutely love this powder. It smells like chocolate so it already had me from there but I really 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 do love it. I feel like it gives me a really nice contour. This is too dark for me to use as a bronzer unless I use a light hand but I really like this as a contour and I feel like it does look really nice on my pale skin. I also really want to try the medium light one version of this and I feel like that would work great as a bronzer for me so um, I'll definitely try to pick that one up but I've definitely been loving this this month. So another product that I have been loving is this Vasanti highlighter. Um, this is the See the Light Powder Highlighter Duo in the color Golden Child. I'm actually wearing it today. I absolutely love it so much. I really like it because you can mix it all together and get this really nice like golden highlight or you can do what I like to do and just take just the white squares and get this really nice white champagne -y highlight. This is going to give you a really nice kind of white gold highlight whereas this is going to give you more of a yellow gold. So I really like the fact that I have more of a white gold highlight in my collection just because I usually go for like those yellow golds but I'm really 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 liking that whitish kind of gold highlight. So the next product that I have been loving is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've had this thing in my collection for a while, but I've kind of been stuck on my MAC uh, Painterly Paint Pot, which I love my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, but I do feel like my MAC, pa my MAC Painterly Paint Pot isn't really that good for certain eye looks. I feel like it's really great just for neutral eye looks or that everyday use or when you're wearing no makeup and you just want to cover up your lid. But when I really want a, like if I'm doing more of a colored lid that I want to be really prominent, then I definitely like to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance just because it's a little bit more greasy in texture. So I feel like shadows really stick to it and kind of pop. So the last item that I have been loving is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. This is the CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Honeyed. Absolutely adored this 
this lipstick. It's beautiful. This lipstick really reminds me of like Cream Cup or Angel by MAC. It's just a really pretty pinky nude shade. It's nude with those pink undertones. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now and I really, 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 really love it. Um, and it has such a great texture to it too, you know, it's not drying and it's not super creamy as well It's just a really great medium. So that is pretty much it for my July favorites I know I didn't have a ton of products this month But I've really been on a roll with getting my favorites and hits and misses out every single month And I know you guys really enjoy them So I definitely still wanted to get it out for you guys But regardless, I hope you guys did still enjoy it and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll of course see you guys in my next one Bye guys Mwah. I'll probably be updating you probably in my next month's favorites. I'll let you guys know like how it goes.